All right, music fans and foes alike, welcome back to The Real Music Observer. My name is Dave, observing real music in real time for real people just like you and me right here. Uh, I wanted to talk briefly about this idea that Jonathan Cain is going to get a Christian version of the band Journey together. And at first when I had heard it, because it was basically being reported by like Rock History Music had a video that more or less made that connection and maybe they made connections based on tweets they were reading. Uh, I never read a tweet from Kane that said, yeah, we want to do Christian music or I want to turn Journey into a Christian band. However, I think there may be some substance to this. And the reason I say that is because Kane has been really quiet, as if he's just going to go off and do his own thing, and he's just going to leave this behind. Maybe uh, all of this stuff coming at him, maybe he's ignoring it because he's already got a plan, and it doesn't include worrying about who gets the name of the band. That is actually probably the best case scenario. And the reason I say that is I think Kane's probably had enough. Um, his version of the band is really going to be a status quo version of the band. I think what he'd probably, realistically, what he'd want to do is he'd want to tour with a band that can perform those songs, the Journey catalog. But he also wants to tour with a band that probably can do Christian rock or Christian worship music as well. So he's kind of getting both. He's getting, you know, the stuff that he co-wrote and helped record and so forth. Uh, he's going to play on that, and then he's going to get a band that can play the new music that he wants to sing. Um, he's really into his faith, uh, and I think that's where he's headed. Now, I have an idea of who could be picked for this Christian band, and this is very intriguing stuff. Now, I haven't necessarily nailed down a drummer, okay? The drummer could be Dean Castronovo, because Dean... Uh, I believe Dean got converted to the Christian faith during his sort of recovery process. Uh, typically you'll see Dean every once in a while like a scripture verse or something like that that's being either tweeted to him or he's tweeting out or something like that. So, so based on that and before this big blow up with Journey, he was more or less not siding with Cain or anything, but certainly he's been more apt to kind of tweet the same things or talk about the same things, uh, although he's definitely still, you know, he's talking about a lot of things, so I can't just pin him down as the drummer, but he would be a candidate for drummer. Now, guitar player, <laughs> this is the big one, uh, and this was sent to me by somebody, and I had this in my head uh, about two months ago, thinking that this guy would be a perfect guitar player for Jonathan Cain's journey Christian band and that guy's name is Lincoln Brewster I don't know if you ever heard of Lincoln Brewster uh, if you're a Christian and you've heard Christian radio for I don't know the past 10 or 15 years you know the name Lincoln Brewster because he has been pretty much all over Christian contemporary music and the key thing is he toured and worked with Steve Perry on the for the Love of Strange Medicine album and tour. So he's got street credibility, no pun intended, street talk, street cred, all that stuff. Uh, and he is a fine guitar player. He's an excellent songwriter. Uh, he writes very melodic music, very catchy stuff. If you've heard Christian radio, he's got a couple of tunes that really stand out and really have been sort of the, I don't know, in the, in the library of Christian music and it's stuff that was played over and over again so he's definitely got credibility he definitely can bring it when it comes to playing the guitar and he's worked with Steve Perry so that gives him even more sort of I don't know an inside to everything and obviously he's a Christian so uh, that bodes well now lead vocalist <laughs> If Arnell's not going to hang around, or, you know, Arnell's not the guy for John Kane, and he could still be. Arnell kind of goes back and forth and says he's not for just one 
religion and so forth, and he's not endorsing anything. But again, he's been overtly spiritual during this entire escapade and has... He's, he's kind of fought off tweets where people are accusing him of certain things. But I think he may have just had enough of the, the American dream. <laughs> I think he's tired, and I think he probably just wants to hang with his wife in the Philippines, and maybe he'll go tour with Michael Bolton or something like that. Maybe he'll go out with Kenny G. I don't know. It'd be cool to see him out there on the road with, uh, I guess, a less hostile audience in front of him. Um, but the guy, I think, who would be a perfect fit for the Jonathan Cain Christian version of Journey, that guy's name is John Elefante. John used to sing for the band Kansas. The first time when Steve Walsh bolted, when Kansas became very Christian, very overt, Kerry Livgren was the guy in the band who was really pushing the band in that direction. And lyrically, all the Kansas tunes have a real spiritual dimension, at least the stuff that Livgren was involved in. Carry on, Wayward Son, Dust in the Wind, just do some research. Point of No Return is just an album about it's a spiritual album. It's, it's all about he knew. Listen to Portrait, he knew. And that's a song about Jesus, okay? So in any event, uh, Elefante, who's got amazing vocal chops, uh, just one of the better vocalists of the last 20 or 30 years, actually, uh, 40 years, I guess it's you got to go back that far now, uh, he has been working with a band... Whose, whose leader is actually one of the president's uh, chief legal counsel. His name is Jay, Jay Seculo. All right, now if you're following all this still, and I'm not putting you to sleep, that's great. I don't know, but it's, it's interesting to me. Let's put it that way. So Seculo has a band. He's got the Jay Seculo band, and both Elefante and former Petra lead singer, who also sang for the band head east from the 1970s, John Schlitt. Yes, it's not a swear. That's actually his last name. Schlitt. And it's not a beer either, although it's close. <laughs> um, those two guys both vocally can bring it and would actually both be good candidates. But I'm thinking Elefante could probably do a better Steve Perry than the more heavy metal-ish sounding John Schlitt. So those guys... That nucleus, and possibly Dean on drums, maybe not, but between Elefante and Lincoln Brewster, I think you've got a band. Jonathan Kane on keyboards, Ross Valerie, maybe he sticks around and plays bass. I'm thinking, sure. I mean, Ross is obviously on that team, so to speak, and uh, I think that would work. I mean, if you wanted to do a Christian version of Journey, uh, and have it, you know, be credible and interesting and actually where the musicians are pretty decent, that, my friends, would be it. So that's my idea, the John Kane Christian version of Journey. We'll see how that works out. Maybe John will see this video and say, that's it, I've got my band. But who knows if these guys will actually do it. That's the next question. Do they want to be in this drama? Or is Kane trying to just leave everything and just kind of head on off into the sunset with these guys and just not come back again? We'll find out in the weeks and months and years ahead. I'm Dave, and this is The Real Music Observer, and we will be back sometime to do more real music. Talk to you then.